say that helped a little bit. It helped me get up here. I have to say, um, there's been so much talk about athletes and their determination and dedication. And um, the coaching profession is definitely the same, maybe twice, just because of the amount of people that you try to prepare. Um, I'm a retired teacher and coach at Eureka City Schools. Been there for 30, was there for 38 years. I don't have uh, quite the um, uh, easygoing uh, way to talk, so I, I'd really put everything down, so hopefully bear with me and I'll uh, get through this. Um, I'm here tonight to present uh, Coach as an inductee to the 2018 class uh, of the Eureka High School Hall of Fame. First of all, I'd like to introduce my beautiful wife, Mimi, of 40 years. And it's uh, surprising that she's still with me. And uh, for all of you coaches' wives out there, I know you know what I mean. Uh, all the time away from all the things you do, the hours you put in, um, I'm sure glad she's still there. Um, <coughs> I would like to, first of all, again, congratulate all the athletes here um, for their induction into the Hall of Fame. It's such a special award and such an honor. Um, um, I was fortunate enough to get in as a coach and, and an athlete, and it's just a, a wonderful feeling. Um, before I get started, I just want to kind of mention just a couple things in general about coaching. And I know all the coaches in this room um, will probably agree with me in a lot of these things that I'm saying. Uh, one of the first things is that in coaching, um, you're not in business to make money. Holy smokes. Um, when you think about um, all the hours you put in, practicing, traveling, clinics, and meetings, and uh, you're lucky if you probably make a dollar an hour. Uh, so coaches are not <clears throat> really rich financially. But the thing is that's just really great is I believe that we are richer in many more important ways. To me, about the passion, to me, it's about the passion of competition. I couldn't wait to get started. It was about molding and building a group of young competitors into a, as you heard before, well-oiled and finely tuned machine. It's the anticipation of who will be coming out for your team, and in some cases, who won't be coming out for your team. It's getting the right combination of athletes working for a common goal. That would be winning a championship. It was teaching them how to compete, being a good teammate, instilling confidence in their skills, and how to be gracious winners, and also how to handle and deal with difficult defeats. When it all comes together, there's nothing like it in the world for a coach. We coaches have all had that team or athlete that stands out and that we'll never forget. It makes that hard work, planning, practice time, hours and hours of effort everyone expended to get to that point of excellence, and that's coaching. It's a special honor for me to be here to present Ron Hartman, a fellow teacher and coach for 35 years, into the 2018 class of Eureka High School Hall of Fame for Coaches. Ron was my significant, my other significant other, and a very, very close blank friend for 34 years that we taught and coached together. Before beginning his teaching and coaching career in Eureka City Schools, Ron taught and coached Anna McKin at Anna McKinney Intermedi Intermediate School in Marysville for one year. Now, you'll see in the program, and I didn't know this was going to happen, um, a lot of this is going to be repeated, but so many people my age can't read that small font, so it might be a good one. While he, while he coached football, basketball, while he coached, while he was there, he coached football, basketball, and track and field. He also was a physical education department chair, athletic director, intramural director, and wrestling club advisor. Doing all those activities and assignments gives you some idea how important and dedicated Ron was to athletics. My question to Ron would be, what did you do in all that spare time? <laughs> After his time in Marysville, he came to Eureka High School, taught for a year, and then was transferred to Jacobs Junior High School, where I started our, where we started our 34-year coaching careers. Ron coached football, freshman football for a year, track and field for six years, boys basketball for six years, and girls basketball for five years. 
And he was talking about a freshman coach and David being a 7th and 8th grade coach. At that time, you probably didn't know this, but when you coached a 7th and 8th grade team, you coached them both. There wasn't a 7th grade coach or an 8th grade coach. You coached 7th and 8th grade. I did that for a few years, too. And so, um, congratulations to David to get through that when you weren't a coach. Um, uh, Ron was very successful, and watching him coach was an education for me in that I learned about team management, game strategies, and skill techniques that would eventually help me throughout my coaching career. When Jacobs closed, Ron continued his teaching and coaching at Eureka High School. He became the head JV coach and assistant varsity coach for 24 years. Now this is something that maybe the principal of Jennifer still here might think about. I went through a, a lot of yearbooks. I mean, when you think about 24 years of coaching experience. And one of the things that I noticed in these yearbooks is that, I don't know, probably a third of them didn't even have the statistic, any kind of statistics or win-loss records. Sometimes coaches got involved in getting a picture taken with their team. If you didn't get a picture taken with one of the teams, you might not know who coached that team because that was never, wasn't mentioned very often. But I did find some interesting facts for Ron. He had a, his win-loss uh, stats that I did find out were for a, a, at least 11 years. He had an 80 and 23 record, which comes out to about a 72% winning percentage, winning record. It's an, that's an outstanding record. Um, also, Ron had mentioned his assistant coach, David Bills, and, and I saw the, and it was three years, and um, they had a coaching record, the two of them, that three-year period, of 25 wins and four losses. So you can see that was through 1981 through 1984. And they're still continuing that great, great run of uh, that, that they can, um, competition and coaching. Ron was Eureka High School gymnastics coach for six years. I did find a few things during his, his tenure as a coach. In the 1975-76 season, Ron's girls won the North Coast Section Championship. In the 1973-74 season, one of his girls won an all-around medal at the North Coast Section. And going to North Coast Section is such an honor. And, and, uh, and, and Ron, I don't know if he actually meant to coach gymnastics. He was probably asked to. And if you know Ron, Ron would be willing to coach anything because he, is, um, he loves that aspect of, of teaching. For, long, for, for all those years. Uh, Ron was head track and field, head track and field coach at your high school for 11 years. Again, I couldn't find much of the, uh, about his team, about statistic-wise and win-losses, but his teams did very well. They won many dual meets, and in the 1987-88 season, they won the county championships. Eureka High School sent athletes to seven state meets under Ron, uh, Ron Hartman's tutelage. And California is a huge state, and to be able to send any athlete to the state meet is a, quite an accomplishment. And Ron was able to send them to safe athletes to seven state meets. It's very difficult calling for the state meets. It's an accomplishment for an athlete to reach that level of competition. It takes a ton of skill and athletic ability and great coaching to get there. After a stint with track and field, David will like this, he took on a very difficult sport to coach. That was golf. It's a tough assignment, but somebody had to do it. And Ron stepped up to the plate. It was so tough that he kept that job for 13 years. During that time, his teams won 11 league championships and missed the 12th league championship by one stroke to 14. Taking 11 teams to North Coast Section Championship is another outstanding accomplishment. Lastly, Ron coached JV and freshman boys basketball for 18 years. He had several successful seasons. With the stats that I did find, he had some pretty impressive records. His 87-88 season, he had an undefeated league season. The 91-92, he had a 17-2 record. And in 93-94, he was 14-3. Ron had an incredible coaching career at Yuka High School and a Hall of Fame career. Think about it coaching five completely different sports, football, basketball, track and field, gymnastics, and golf. Having the ability to coach different skill sets, muscular development, conditioning programs, 
and the mental approaches takes a tremendous amount of work and dedication. His success comes from the ability to transfer the wealth of knowledge and skill and physical skills to his athletes. He was very well respected by the athletes he coached and also by the other coaches he worked with. My last few comments are not about coaching, but about what Ron has done for teaching and what he has done for his community. In 2007, Ron received the prestigious Gene Olson Achievement Award for Excellence in Teaching. The award is given to teachers who have made a lifelong commitment to students, educators, and the community. Speaking of the community, he was a prolific blood donor. At one time, he was in the, at least the top three blood donors in the community. And I think he said he, he has a plaque up there at the blood bank that he donated 20 plus gallons over the many years that he donated. It must be an incredible feeling to be able to give the gift of life so often. Ron was also an Eagle Scout, which got him into being assistant scoutmaster for Troop 27 for many years. Probably remember Troop 27. <clears throat> now that you know Ron is a successful coach and an important member of the community, now, and now it's my extreme honor and pleasure to present to you Ron Hartman to not only a member or a cla of the class of 2018 Coaches Hall of Fame, but also a member of life's Hall of Fame. Thank you.